My name is Kenneth Mall. Good afternoon. It's great to see all of you here. My research is focused on conceptual design of unmanned aerial vehicles using a new technique called genetic algorithm optimization. Well, we all understand the concept of genetics, at least. Basically, you have one chromosome from your parents, one chromosome set from your mother, one chromosome set from your father. You get a combination of those all mixed through. So, what to do with planes? Well, they have hundreds of thousands of components, individual things that we need to add together, and companies spend billions in research and development for, if you take a look at that top left-hand thing, something that never flew. Wasted millions. And of course, everyone recognizes the Global Hawk long-range surveillance package, the United States Air Force, and probably a little bit more infamous, the Predator drone, medium altitude, strike mission, air to ground missile strikes. UAVs come in such a wide variety. How do we interpret what's the best design? What do we choose to add into our aircraft design? If we don't get it right, we can waste years and, of course, a large sum of money, usually people who've invested heavily in the success of your program. So my algorithm seeks to eliminate that. We'll go from the zero to 40% mark of a conceptual design phase without ever having to worry about missing your mark. It'll be mission-based, customer concern. What happens is the customer will give you a profile. I want a long-range, stealthy strike fighter. All right? What else do you want? How far do you want it to go? What, what runways do you have available? I'll add all those constraints into the algorithm. And at the end, by mimicking the process of natural selection that resulted in all of us, every bird that's ever flown, I will breed the best plane for a given choice. Well, when you say breed, what does that mean? Well, that means I take the best 25% of that genetic strain that evaluated against their environment, which is their mission. Their mission is their environment. How well they perform, they get rated on a scale, one to 10. The tens get selected. They will pass on their genes to the next generation, and so on, and so on. Until at the end, you have one design from all the multitudes of designs you could possibly have chosen that will be the best for your given mission. And will result in you spending no more than six days designing an aircraft instead of six years. So the problem is aircraft are so complicated and we've gotten pretty good at designing them now. It's how do we design a better aircraft? Well, we can't. We've done just about as much as we can do. There's no way to draw all of them, design all of them. So instead of changing that, we need to, instead of designing, we need to evolve the designs we already have. Thank you.